going on everybody uh today we're going to be talking about the differences in some 22 little revolvers um but before we get to the video i just wanted to apologize for the delay in videos our range was under construction for a while so we were unable to get out there and film some stuff but now that it's open we're going to be out there a lot more filming a lot more getting a lot more content out there for you guys um, i genuinely appreciate it if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm trying to hit my goal of 1,000 subscribers, hopefully by the end of this summer. So if you could help me out with that, that'd be awesome. All right, now back to the video. All right, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the different styles of Rimfire single action 22s. Over here we have the Diamondback. It is a, actually a single action, double action, oh, so that one is slightly different. Oh, the and then we have the uh, Ruger Wrangler, which is a single action, 22 long, and a uh, Heritage. This is a Black Pearl edition, but it is also a single action, 22. The biggest differences you're gonna see right away on these guys is this guy has a manual safety, which in my opinion is stupid on a single action revolver. But I guess it's nice if you're going to be teaching people and getting them into firearms. Uh, and then on this guy, again, no safety on this. But it is a double action, which is awesome, which these 22s are not. These two pistols are both six-shot pistols. Super, super similar. The biggest difference right now on these guys is going to be barrel length. Slightly longer barrel on the Heritage. They make them in all different barrel lengths from a one inch up to a 16 inch so it's one of those things that realistically depending on what you want you can kind of get whatever style you want in there um, i believe the diamondback and the Ruger are the same length i believe at four inches and i think my heritage is a six inch i believe a uh, six inch barrel on that guy so one cool thing about the Diamondback is how many shots is that, Logan? That is nine. Yeah. So that thing holds a nine uh, capacity cylinder in comparison to the Ruger and the uh, Heritage. Heritage right here, they're both going to be six shot. So that's going to be your biggest difference between those guys. So these two are super, super comparable. That is the nine shot Diamondback 22. It is a double action so again it's slightly different than the other two but it is slightly more expensive also large gun this is a slightly smaller version of that large gun and this one you can tell it's like the large gun, but it's a little bit smaller, and it's gold. Good Isn't job, Isn't that Jesse. neat? Good job, Jesse. <laughs> All right, now, Logan. So, this is you. This is the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> also very true. But no, uh, what are your Where's likes and dislikes of each one? Kind of why? I know the sights are kind of different. This one being a slightly more expensive price point. Not by much, but it has a double single action and nine shot instead of six is a big difference in these guys. But I'm just curious to see what your thoughts are. Uh, yeah, the diamond back is cool because it holds nine. It's cool because it can go double action as well as single action. It sucks because it is not zeroed at seven yards. It's also cool because you can get a 22 mag cylinder in there. The Wrangler's cool because it's actually accurate. It's gold. It looks sweet. And it's just all around smooth shooting, accurate shooting gun. I don't like these. A safety on a single action pistol is stupid. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Um, now, coming to sights, um, which one of these sights do you kind of like the best? This one has a deeper groove in the back, but they all suck. I absolutely agree. They're all pretty <laughs> terrible sights, but the uh, Ruger does have a deeper uh, rear groove to make a little bit better of an actual sight picture for the 22. This Diamondback, it just is completely inaccurate out of the factory. Um, so we are trying to work on how to fix that, but it is completely off. 
um, by a lot. So that is a downside to that guy, even though it is a slightly more expensive and it does have some nicer features with the double single action and the nine shots instead of six. So it's just uh, that sight is its downfall there. This Ruger, I think, is going to take the cake for price point, what you're getting for the money and what it is. And then realistically, the heritages are just kind of for fun. They look cool. They look huh? goofy. So realistically, yeah, the uh, heritages are just kind of for show. They're nothing crazy. Um, definitely not my favorite but they're fun they all come in cool colors you can get ones with threaded barrels ones that are one inch one that's obviously this guy the 16 inch but for practicality and for what it is i think my money would have to go to this guy right here logan would you agree ruger yeah uh, every day every day jesse when i was using this against the security guard at the Capitol. <laughs> All right, so the Ruger is what takes the cake on this guy. These other ones aren't bad pistols, but again, just for the price and what it is, if you're gonna be looking into some cheap wheel fire guns, this is gonna be the one right here you're gonna to wanna to go for the Ruger rank. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me hit that goal of 1,000 subscribers. And if you like the content, go check out more of the videos on my channel. All right, have a good one, guys.